Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring something that's making a splash in the AI image generation scene. The new Dreamo models from ByteDance. We'll be taking a look at how these integrate into ComfyUI and what that means for creating some truly unique images. Dreamo is an innovative open-source AI set of models that essentially bundles several powerful image customization features into a single, more straightforward system. Think about being able to preserve the identity of a person or an object across different scenes, get really specific with facial features, virtually try on different outfits or accessories, or even transfer artistic styles. Dreamo aims to do all of this, and it's built to handle multiple requests at once, which is pretty neat for getting detailed results without different edits clashing. What's also great is that it's released under the Apache 2 license. This basically means it's open for you to use, tweak, and build upon, even for commercial projects, as long as you stick to the license terms. Now, to help you get started with Dreamo in ComfyUI, I've put together a couple of custom workflows. There's a Goomf version that's designed to be more VRAM friendly. I've been running it on my 6GB RTX 4050 card, and it generates 1024 by 1024 images in just a few minutes. This workflow cleverly uses the Flux dev models and incorporates some handy extra nodes like the Demon Detailer to really sharpen up and add those fine details to your creations. Then there's an FP8 model workflow. This one does pack a bit more punch, but you'll want a card with a bit more memory, probably in the 12 GB VRAM range or higher to run it smoothly locally. So in this video, I'll guide you step-by-step step through setting up these new Dreamo LoRa models and getting the workflows running in your comfy UI. We'll also look at a RunPod template I've configured, which will let you use the more demanding FP8 model on faster cloud GPUs without much fuss. And for my supporters on Patreon, I've also put together a one-click Windows installer that bundles everything. It'll download and set up all you need to get Dreamo up and running. You can find that along with the workflows over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. Okay, let's pick up where we left off and get into the nuts and bolts of setting up Dreamo with ComfyUI. So there are a few ways we can get this up and running. First up, for my Patreon members, I've tried to make this as straightforward as possible with a one-click Windows installer. If you've grabbed that, all you need to do is download the Dreamo ComfyUI.bat file. Make sure to place it into a fresh folder, one that's dedicated just for this project. Then, simply double-click that batch file to kick off the installation. This script will automatically download and install everything you need. ComfyUI itself, all the necessary custom nodes, and the Dreamo models all directed into that folder you created. Once it's finished doing its thing, you just start up ComfyUI. Your web browser should automatically open to the local host URL and the workflow should be ready and loaded. Now, if you're going the manual installation route, you'll of course need ComfyUI installed on your system already. I highly recommend also having the ComfyUI manager node as it makes adding all the other bits and pieces for this project much simpler. If you're on Windows and new to ComfyUI, you can grab the portable Windows zip file directly from the ComfyUI releases section on their GitHub repository. This package comes with everything ComfyUI needs to run. Just extract the file and its contents using something like 7-zip. To install the ComfyUI manager, you'll want to open up a terminal or command prompt. Navigate into your ComfyUI directory, then into the custom nodes folder. Once you're there, you'll git clone the ComfyUI Manager GitHub repository right into that custom nodes folder. After it's cloned, if you're using that portable Windows version of ComfyUI, navigate back to the main ComfyUI portable directory. That's the one that contains the Python embedded folder. Then, run the following command in your terminal, which I will leave down in the description. That command will install all the necessary dependencies for the manager node. Okay, before we fire up ComfyUI, let's grab the Dreamo LoRa models and also the Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa. These are important for the workflow to run correctly and will help with faster image generation. 
To get these models, head over to the ByteDance page on Hugging Face, I'll have the link for that down in the description for you. On their page, find the Files and Versions tab and then click into the Comfuey folder you see there. From there, you can download the compatible Dreamo Comfy UI LoRa models to your computer. For the Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa, you'll want to visit the Alimama Hugging Face repository, again, link in the description, and download the LoRa from there. We'll also need to download the Flux Dev models and a few other supporting models for the workflow, but it's generally easier to do this from within Comfy UI using the manager once we have it running. So once you've downloaded the Dreamo LoRa's and the Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa, just drag those model files into your LoRa's folder, which is inside your main Comfy UI directory. With that done, you're all set to start Comfy UI. Go ahead and launch Comfy UI and then load in the Dreamo Goonf workflow. I've left a download link for this workflow in the description below as well. If you see any nodes turn red when you load the workflow, don't panic. Just click on the Comfy UI Manager button, which is usually in the top right, and then click on Install Missing Nodes. Install any of the nodes that it says you're missing for the workflow, doing them one by one. After installing, click the Restart button for Comfy UI to complete the setup for those new nodes. If you run into an issue where the Dreamo nodes are still showing up red, I have a quick solution that should resolve the issue. It appears that there's a missing Python library that still needs to be installed. Head back to the Comfy UI Portable Windows folder, open up a command terminal window in that directory, and run this command to install the missing Python module. Once installed, go back to your Comfy UI interface and restart Comfy UI. Next up, we need to get our Flux Dev Goonf model and the corresponding clip and VAE models. You can do this pretty easily by using the search bar in the Comfy UI Manager and downloading each model individually, just as I'm showing on screen now. Once those downloads are complete, you can restart Comfy UI again by clicking Refresh in the manager's main menu. Alright, with everything installed, it's a good idea to check your model loader nodes in the workflow. Make sure the correct models are selected for each node. You can click the little arrows to choose a model from the drop-down list. This just helps ensure everything has been installed and recognized properly. From there, you're ready to go. Load in your reference subject image. Type in your prompt describing what you want the subject to be doing or what they should look like in the new image. And hit generate. For those who enjoy tinkering, you can certainly fine tune the workflow configurations to better tailor the quality of your generated images. The current models are still a work in progress and may occasionally produce unsatisfactory results. However, I've heard through the grapevine that the developers are actively working on new models expected to deliver higher quality images, with releases planned for the near future. Now if you find yourself needing a bit more graphical horsepower, especially for running the more demanding FP8 Flux dev model with the workflow, I've also set up a RunPod template. RunPod offers a variety of GPUs, from H100s and RTX 4090s to A100s and many others, each with its own per hour rate. To use this, just click on the RunPod template link I've put in the description. If you don't have a RunPod account, you'll need to quickly create one, otherwise just log in. Then select a GPU option that suits your needs. I generally advise picking a GPU with 24GB of VRAM or more, something like an RTX 4090, for the best and fastest results with the FP8 model. Before you deploy, you might want to edit the template's storage space. You can do this by clicking the Edit Template button and adjusting the container storage, which is the more temporary storage for your pod, and then click Set Overrides. Once all your settings are how you want them, go ahead and click the Deploy button at the bottom of the page. Your pod will then start building, 
and it will begin running scripts to install all the necessary components for the project. This whole setup process can take around 15 to 20 minutes so just be patient. You can keep an eye on how the installation is progressing by checking the log files. When you see that final executed script showing the local URL in the terminal, that's your signal that everything is ready to go. As a general tip, if you're using my default template as is, when the storage capacity for the Comfy UI template shows around 58% used, that usually means the installation is complete. Once everything has finished installing, click the Connect button. Then, click the HTTP service button or similar depending on the exact RunPod setup. And that will launch the latest version of the Comfy UI interface right there in your web browser. Okay, so now that we have our Comfy UI interface up and running via RunPod, all that's left to do is upload the Dreamo FP8 workflow I've provided, and you can start generating those high-quality images. So that covers the different ways you can get Dreamo set up with Comfy UI, whether you're running it locally with the Goonf or FP8 models, or using the convenience of a cloud GPU through RunPod. I hope this guide helps you get started with these exciting new tools. Experiment with the settings, try out different reference images and prompts, and see what kind of amazing visuals you can create. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Let me know in the comments what you think of Dreamo and if there's anything else you'd like to see covered. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.